The first thing that I did with your baby when she first came, like I spoke about in the video, is I utilized what I call the good word theory. And this is very simple, yes? You know, when you set him down out there and I saw him go potty and I looked at him and I said, good potty, that's the good word theory. It's just building a vocabulary for your dog through acknowledgement, by pinging them, so to speak. So for example, if a dog walks up to his water bowl and he say, good water, it's only a matter of time, maybe minutes, maybe days, maybe weeks, maybe months with a stupid dog. <laughs> but eventually, even the dumbest dog will understand what it means. He'll put that together. Okay. So if every time a dog sits, you say, good sit, in time, the dog will associate that action with the word sit. But more importantly, the dog will associate your praise and your reward with a behavior. Okay. See, a lot of times as dog owners, we only pay attention to our puppies when they're being naughty. Even when I go to a customer's house to pick up their dog, yeah? If the dog is laying down doing something out of the way and not getting and not being annoying, they'll never look at the dog. But the moment the dog gets up and grabs the shoe, they start looking at the dog and the, the chase is on. Mm -hmm. So a dog learns that naughty gets me attention. And initially with a puppy and with a new dog adopted in your household, all attention is positive attention. Very few dogs consider attention negative. You can get there with a training dog, and I, I think you should. I think dogs should understand negative attention. But to most dogs, it's all positive. Mm -hmm. Most dogs don't have an understanding. So keep in mind that even spanking a dog, even spanking a dog, a dog would prefer you to come out and spank them every day than to ignore them. So let's say you have a dog and you keep him tied up to a tree. This is the sad truth of a dog. And every day at 11 a.m. you walk out there and you kick him. Then every day at 3 p.m. you go out there and you kick him. And then every day at 7 p.m. you go out there and kick him. And that's the only attention he gets. He's going to look forward to 11, 3, and 7. Mm -hmm. He's going to look forward to it. So you've got to keep those things in mind. That in my opinion, just looking at a dog is a reward. So let's say you have her in the house, yes? Or out in the yard. Yeah. On the concrete. You have concrete in your yard? Yeah. Goodness gracious. You have concrete in your yard, right? <laughs> so let's say you're in the yard, yeah? And you see that she's sniffing around and she's about to squat on the concrete. The wrong thing to do right now would be to look at her and say the word no. Because now you're looking at her, which is praise. And now you're saying no, which she's not going to take as negative yet. She's a baby. The right thing to do would be to very quickly hustle over there and, and bump into her. Don't tackle her. <laughs> you know, like bump into her like shoulders. So you like, you know, bump into her and get her to move into the grass. Okay. Interrupt her. Puppy is walking around. So see right now what I've been doing is sometimes I'll put a sandwich or popcorn up here and I'll hang out with her. If she comes over here and starts to sniff, if she walks in and sniffs, that's cool. You can be curious. But if she comes over here, she's taking a vested interest in my popcorn. I just get up and I walk into her. Without saying anything. Yeah, without saying Not even looking at her. Just interrupt her. If she does it again, I go and start interrupting still. Until my, you know, behaving kind of like a bird protecting a nest. You know how they like fly, they swoop around, they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta annoy the dog. Okay. Oftentimes birds do that and dogs leave the nest alone. You see what I mean? You gotta persist. The reason that we fail is that dog owners, not we as coming. We're doing good, yeah? You're doing good. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about you. <laughs> owners fail. Is because we fail to do these things. We don't consistent. You have to become predictable. So if every time your dog sits, you look at your dog and you say, good sit, you're becoming predictable. Your dog starts to do behaviors that it thinks it's going to get rewarded for, okay? Any questions about that? Wow moments are an extension of this. You want to get a high value tree that's like the size of a pencil top eraser, right? Something that they can eat very quickly. And ideally, you'll place some treats around your home. And if you can have some in your pocket, that would be great, but not necessary. But place them strategically out of reach around your home. And if you happen to be near one and the dog does a behavior that you like, say the word wow. 
reach, grab a treat, and as you feed the treat, say good, sit, good, down, whatever they did. So let's say puppy is walking, now yeah? puppy's just walking. Puppy sees something and starts to bounce. <gasps> Excited. And then puppy stops and lays down. Wow, good settle. Do you see what I marked right there? What did I mark? The settle. Yeah, the laying down. The flopping. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. When he, the little one in your hands, jumps off the couch, because I'm sure he's off the couch. He's a Yorkie. <laughs> <laughs> when he jumps off the couch, say, good, get off. Mm -hmm. In time, when you say get off, he's going to understand what you're talking about. Yeah. To wrap it up, dog does the behavior you like, either acknowledge with good theory or say WW and reward immediately with a treat if you have a treat handy. And ideally, it's a treat that they take and, oh, can I have another one? Mm -hmm. So you're creating engagement. Okay. Okay. Very, very simple. So that's the foundation. That's what we did the first, like two weeks, strictly. Not even know nothing on the leash. Mm -hmm. Just hanging out. But look, we're hanging out in this room. There's not too many things here. Little by little, I would start adding things. I remember saying we're dealing with a dog who likes to tear up a pot of plants. But initially, I keep very little in here. So more often than not, I'm going to be pinging them with something positive. Good shit. Good me down. It's imperative that you provide plenty of chew toys for her. Okay. She needs things to destroy. I think I need to know the definition of chew toys. That was where I was to get into. So we're on the same page. Yeah. So a lot of times I go to people's homes and ask them, well, do you have chew toys? And I'm asking that and I can see the box of toys. <laughs> I can see what they have scattered about. So and they're probably thinking it. like, don't you see them? You're surrounded, <laughs> you're standing in them. The problem is that a chew toy is something that your dog, that you give to your dog with the intent of them destroying, that they're allowed to destroy, that you're going to be proud of them for destroying. Dogs have a desire to chew. When they chew, it relieves stress. Think about it. When you're a dog, if you, like, you might, you, might, you know, dog might poop in your house or something. You might need to go outside and take a walk. Mm -hmm. But you can make that decision. She's not going to, but you know what I mean. Your dog gets frustrated. Man, where's King? How come I'm not over there anymore? She can't just decide, you know what, I'm gonna go for a walk and think about things. <laughs> you know? She can't. Yeah. Her time to relieve stress is by chewing on something she can destroy. If you give a dog a toilet paper roll and you make it clear to them it's okay for them to go bananas with it. Well, yes. But when in three or four minutes when that toilet is gonna look like Christmas in there, they're gonna shred it. And when you walk back in there, they're going to look accomplished and potentially buzzing. They're gonna be like, oh, they're gonna feel so good. To a dog, it feels good to destroy things. If you're only giving your dog things that they can't destroy, you're gonna create a dog that's gonna look for things that it can destroy. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? Any destruction that you see here are from puppies who had plenty of chew toys but decided I'm going to be naughty anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some of that was Texas. Some of that was King and Junior. But do you see what I mean? Yeah. But chew toys would be like pig ears, rawhide, cow hooves. A lot of animals buy bully sticks. So a dog needs at least five separate, different rather, things to chew on. Raw hides may not last more than a day. Pig ears may not last more than five minutes. But just because they only last five minutes doesn't mean your dog shouldn't get them. Maybe not 10 of them a day, but one of them a day would be cool. Okay, and they can have more than one at the same time? I, yes, ma'am. Okay. Ideally, they have them laid out when they're running loose in the house. Okay. Any toys that promote physical activity, like balls, tugs, I would say, and I would recommend, to leave outdoors. Okay. Just like growing up, you want to play, you know, you want to play, practice soccer inside the house, mm -hmm. right? So having like a tennis ball in the house, and even with a young puppy, and throwing that ball inside the house with a young puppy, you're teaching that dog that inside is the same as outside. Mm -hmm. Like my dogs, they're super calm and chill inside homes, inside places, like 
I go in like downtown, everywhere. They're chill. But they're chill because I've never once engaged them in play either in here or in my house. Every time I engage them in play, it's outside. But what if it's raining and my dog needs to play? They go play in the rain. It'll help your dog learn not to be afraid. Let go out there. Does he pee and poop in the rain? I think so, yeah. He's a soldier, yeah. Tattoo dog. They'll go out. A lot of dogs don't pee or poop in the rain. Yeah. So I again. Don't like it, it's all dirty, but. <laughs> yeah, right. But inside the home, your dog, I think, should only have what would be equivalent of video games and Netflix. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Chew toys. If your dog will eat, she doesn't want this rawhide anymore. Then maybe go online, man, online's amazing. Like there's Chewy and Amazon. And find like a new exotic chew that she's never had before. Go crazy and spend $11. Okay. Have it come in for her. Okay. It'd be like a kid that needs new books and stuff. New, 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 they're, three, they're smart puppies. Yeah. If you have a dumb dog, if you're fortunate enough, you're not. But a dumb dog normally, like in the future, get a dumb dog. A dumb dog's gonna be easy. It's not going to need very many things to chew on because you'll be happy sleeping and thinking about a lot. <laughs> you don't want a problem solver. That's Texas and King and Junior going to stand there. They're problem solvers. Oh, I can't do this anymore. What if I do this? You know what I mean? Oh, that's a good example. Like they figured out that if they knocked over the water, we'd go out there and grab the pots and bring the new pot out. So they start flipping over the water pots on purpose just so we go out there. But do you see what I mean? And again, that leads me into becoming predictable. The number, one of the keys to success with dog training is becoming predictable. So, for example, if your puppy, if every time your puppy you know, goes over here and puts her paws up here and you walk into her, she's gonna stop doing it because she's gonna predict what you're going to do. The first time you fail to do that action, you're becoming less predictable. Now she's gonna start problem solving and taking chances. Mm. So really quickly, right, reverse psychology. This doesn't apply to her, it might apply to him. But let's say that you have a dog that's a nuisance barker, and I'm speaking in general terms here, okay? Broad strokes. There's an idea here that I want you to grasp. You're gonna get it. But if you have a little dog like this little dog, yeah, and he barks, if every time he barks, you look at him and you come undone with happiness, and you're like, oh my goodness, good kennel, and you run up to him and you grab him and you kiss him, and you praise him, and you toss him in the kennel and give him like a piggy or a piece of bacon, and you're like, you're so smart, good kennel, and you walk away. If you do that enough, it's only a matter of time, maybe once, maybe 10 times, maybe 100 times, maybe 1,000 times, maybe 3,000 times, maybe a month, maybe two months, maybe two days. It's only a matter of time before that dog stops barking because he thinks that every time he barks, you think he's asking to be put in the kennel. Do you know what I mean, dog? What if he's in the kennel barking. He's a chain. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Okay. Do you see what I mean? But again, so you're hanging out with the dog, dog's bark, you look at the dog, good kennel. You grab the dog and you put him in the kennel and leave him in there. If every time he barks, even if it's two in the morning, you wake up and you're excited, like you just won the lottery and you're like, good kennel, and you throw him in the kennel, he's gonna think, man, my mom is stupid. I need to stop barking. Because <laughs> every time I bark, she thinks I'm asking to be put in the kennel. <laughs> so do you see what I mean? The yeah. reason that works is because you're becoming predictable. Okay. Dog knows, right? We become predictable. I would argue if you if every time you go to one spot to grab a leash, your dog gets excited, you're not stimulating your dog enough. Your dog's looking for you to looking for ways he can predict you. Change it up. Create new ways of predictability. See, my dogs don't get excited when I grab a leash because they know that if they sit, they're gonna get my attention. If they lay down, they're gonna get my attention. Inaction is a choice. Texas is a house dog. Let's say she comes inside the house and she's beat. You just came back from a long walk. She goes inside the house and she's laying down, she's laying there chewing on something or not. She's laying there chilling. If you get up and move, and she looks at you and doesn't move, tell her, good stay. Mm -hmm. If this little one whizzes past her, oh, no, no, not peas past her, I probably won't, <laughs> you know what I mean by whizzes, right? Like, yeah. what, darts past her better? Darts past her, because we gotta work on his marking. I'm gonna help yeah. you there, yeah? But if he darts past her, and she looks at him but doesn't move, good stay. 
You see what I'm talking about here? We're acknowledging an inaction. Okay. A lot of times people don't acknowledge an action. He's ready for some action. Yeah. Right? He's about to have a sister come in here. <laughs> Give him some real action. You know? Oh my God. <laughs> so if it goes bad, again, I'm going to recommend that she stay. There won't be any additional fees. And it would be good, man, because then people will see it. Right? People like a train wreck and I like a train wreck yeah. too. I slow down. Hope not. Right? But, yeah, man. <laughs> but look, we got a lot right on the line and he's so beautiful. Yeah, but I think she's going to do good. Man, they're going to look amazing together. They're both beautiful. Amazing dogs, yeah? <laughs> do you have any questions so far? No. Nope. Oh, my God. I'm so yeah. excited. So, now we're going to go into the on-leash obedience portion of everything, okay? Uh -huh. The handling. Ideally, you're going to want to work with her at least once a day for at least two or three minutes. You don't have to spend the whole day working with her, mm -hmm. right? I would argue that most of your time with her should be letting her get her energy out and rewarding her with the good work theory and wow moments. That's what's gonna get you invested. Okay. If you're hanging out with her and she starts to come in your direction, start chanting, good, 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 good. If she's running around and she looks at you and starts running towards you, start chanting, good, good, good. If she starts running towards you and then gets distracted, stop chanting. Okay. Does she associate good, good, good with coming to me? She already does. Okay. And it's good. Yeah. yeah we took the dog park yesterday, so it's good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Like, both of them are little robots. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's why today you notice how a lot of times I'm being a little bit short with Oscar. It's because he, he failed to videotape it yesterday. I had a whole thing planned out. Oh, at the beautiful. Park. Yeah, dude. He took them. He's like, man, they did great. I'm like, did you videotape it? No. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I thought I was going home today. But awesome. Awesome. Okay. They're doing great. So, but the reason they're doing great is because every time they run up to me, good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. When she runs up to you, get into the habit of extending yourself, lowering, extending your right hand out. So she comes in and she already knows to kind of put her mouth here. So she'll okay. rest her mouth here. And, and as you pet her, start leaning into her. If she doesn't automatically sit, push her butt down. Okay. Every time. If she runs up to you and you're on the phone and you don't want to do that, ignore her. If she sits down, ignore her or pet her. But if she runs up to you and you pet her before she sits, you're making a mistake. Okay. Listen to what I'm going to say to you. Once she sits, I start Yeah, and I'm going to show you. So if she runs up to you like this, so once she comes up, start petting her. Start scratching her under the chin because she already came up to you. And then start walking into her and she's going to sit. Okay. Even an untrained dog will do that. She's trained. Now, if, if you notice in my videos, yes, I don't really touch dogs unless they're sitting or laying down. I make it a habit of making them understand to be touched, you have to be almost a statue. So if you're petting her, okay, and she's pawing at you, I would say stop petting her. Well, that's not a big deal, this and that. It's not a big deal now, but it can lead to behavioral issues. Yeah. But don't. So you want your dog to be well behaved? I, I've never one time in my life had a dog where it sits and people are petting it and it's pawing at them and they say, wow, he's so well behaved. They're normally like, okay, but you want to shake? <laughs> <laughs> they always say, he's going to behave when they just sit there like a statue and they just need to love him. You know what I mean? That's what you want. But you're going to teach her that. She already knows. She has to be cool here and calm because Tessa used to be a big farmer. Yeah. <laughs> Grabbing the whole time, like, you go to pet the back. <laughs> and not being mean, you know, she's just like, no, no. hey, she didn't say this. You know what I mean? So again, every time I pet them, they do that. So, one, one final note, one thing to think about, right? In dog training, when we talk about negative, and because we're gonna be doing like FaceTime classes over the phone, when we talk about negative reinforcement and positive reinforcement right now, the babies need more negative reinforcement. Listen, in dog training, positive reinforcement means you're adding something to the equation. So dog trainers say, oh, I'm positive reinforcement, and people don't question it. You should question that because they're, they're banking on ignorance. Because positive reinforcement is adding something to the equation. So what I'm telling you now is negative reinforcement. Puppy, you're petting her, she paws or doesn't you know, like stop petting her. That's negative reinforcement because you've removed yourself, your petting from the equation. Mm -hmm. So positive reinforcement, the dog, let's say, you know, the dog jumps on you, you need the dog, that's positive reinforcement because you added mm -hmm. to the okay. equation. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Dog walks up to you and sits, and you pet it. Do you think that's negative or positive? That's positive. 
Yeah. Man, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna go to the bottom pull it out of here. Positive, yeah. You're adding the treat to the equation. So do you see what I mean? Yeah. So there's not really any emotion involved to it. Unfortunately, people think there is, but there isn't. So we have to use both. You have to use positive and negative, but we have to, so dog sits, could sit, the good word theory, it's positive reinforcement. Mm -hmm. But not that it's recommended, but slapping your dog across the face, technically positive. <laughs> Don't do it, but, but you know what I mean? So keep those things in mind. Dog puts paws up here, I walk past it, positive reinforcement. Okay? Dog comes up to you and stands there. I wouldn't pet her. That's not negative or positive. The dog sits down, I would look at her and I'd pet her. I hug her. The calmer she stayed, the, the more things I would do. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like she sits down, I pet her, that doesn't make her move, I hug her. That doesn't make her move, I start maybe scratching her a little bit differently. That doesn't make her move, maybe I start running my finger around her face. Until she moves and then I stop. Mm -hmm. That's teaching her to be calm. Okay? Now, when we work with her, we're gonna put her on this train leash. You see this leash? This is for a kitten, actually. Lightweight. But if you use a heavy leash, the dog is gonna know when it's on the leash or not. This collar is actually for a little dog like a Yorkie. So, but we're gonna use it with your shepherd. She'll never outgrow it. You can increase by adding, you can increase um, by adding or removing links. Okay. So you can increase its size simply by adding or removing links, okay? The way you want to put it on and off, I'm going to show you in better detail here shortly. Uh, you're going to tether, connect her rather. Can I use that one when I take her out for a walk? Yes, ma'am. Where's she hanging out with you in the house? Yes, okay. ma'am. So she's going to be wearing this, right? Now, let's say that you're walking with her. She already knows all these things. You've seen videos of her doing it, and she's mm -hmm. really proficient. So let's say you're walking with her, and she starts to go a little bit behind, or a little bit too far to the left, or a little bit too far ahead. You're going to want to counter that with a quick nip. Look at my class. You see how? Mm -hmm. So this is an inappropriate, inappropriate nip. A lot of people do that. They keep tension. It's a nip. And I'm doing it more exaggerated so you can see, right? A bite is this. But your clasp has to be relaxed. If your clasp is up like this, you might be putting pressure on the, on, on the bite. Okay. So you can hold the leash like this, but look at my clasp. See, this is wrong. This would be right. There needs to be a little drop there, okay? Okay. Nip and a bite. So if you're walking with her and she deviates from your left, you're going to nip and you're going to keep walking because if you come to a stop, she thinks you have to sit. Mm -hmm. So when you come to a stop, if she doesn't sit, you're gonna bite her. You're going to apply pressure until she puts her butt on the ground. Once she does, you're going to let the pressure go. If you don't touch her, she knows she's not supposed to move. So, if you come to a stop and she sits and you don't touch her and you walk away from her, she's not supposed to move. If she gets up, which I'm hoping she does a lot of today with him, I'm going to apply pressure until she puts her butt on the ground. I'm going to bite until she puts her butt on the ground. I'm not going to say the word no. I'm going to stay very calm the entire time. Okay. So you really don't talk. It's all about... Right now, I'm... Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And I'm primarily, I won't moan talking when I'm praising. Good stay. So like for example, let's say I come to a stop and the dog sits, it's sit. But if I come to a stop and the dog doesn't sit, she's a baby. I'm not gonna ask her to sit because that can create dissidence in my relationship with her. I'm just going to apply pressure to show her what I want. Okay. That's going to, that's service dog level training. That's what's going to get her to that level. I'm betting you're not gonna have to do very much of that. She's good. We, like, we never have to do it. Come to a stop, boom. <laughs> like turn too slow, she's on the ground. Like, she's got to be mindful. <laughs> Again, any deviation from being at your left, and you hear me say nip, you want to keep walking when you nip, okay? Keep walking. Because if you nip and you stop, she says she's confused. When you walk away from her, if you don't touch her, she's not supposed to move. So if I drop the leash, you see how I dropped the leash there? You may not have noticed it. You look down when I point it. You don't want your dog to notice you dropping the leash. You want to try to drop it in a way that isn't super obvious, you dropped it. When you come back to her, you standing with her at your left, we're going to call a reset position. So in this situation, she's at my left. Mm -hmm. When I'm ready to, to touch her and release her from this sit, I'm going to put my arm around her and as I pet her, I'm going to grab the leash near the clasp and string it out like that. 
So I'm gonna try to be like a magician and not put too much of an emphasis on grabbing the leash, right? I've seen trainers, all customers, looking awkward, right? Even trainers, like they'll come to a stop and they'll say, good boy, right? Stay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, dude, don't do that. You look ridiculous, right? I mean, if you want to do it for the video, I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Right? You know, just stay. And then when they go to drop the leash, they do this. Stay. Stay. Okay. Get in the wall. Stay. Good boy. Dude, that's bad. So much emphasis. The video, if I mute it, it looks like I'm afraid, like I'm, I'm more near the bomb over here. <laughs> right? like, do you know what I mean? Bad. The way, and then when they go to pick up the leash, you know, they're gonna come back, stay, stay, you know, like this. It almost looks like you're nervous, like you're waiting for the dog to dart. So I would say, you know, grab the leash, you come over here, you pause for three seconds, you pet, and as you pick up the leash, you just let it slide. When you go to drop the leash, yes, if you're gonna drop the leash, you're just gonna look for an opportunity where the dog's not paying attention, and that's how you're gonna drop it. When you come back to her, you're gonna pause for three seconds. If you don't touch her, you walk away, she shouldn't move. If she's there and she gets up and moves two or three feet, I'm going to step on the leash, I'm gonna grab her, and then I'm gonna do my very best, super important, to prevent her from getting on my left. Again, if she moves from a stay, I'm gonna do my very best to keep her from getting on my left because if she gets on my left, now she's thinking about maintaining heel. So if she moves three or four feet, let's say she's gonna stay, she moves three or four feet, I'm gonna come and grab her and I'm gonna pull her more or less back to where she was at. But you see how I'm guiding her without letting her get on my left. So even if the dog is here and the dog ends up all the way over here, by the time I catch it, I'm gonna grab, and when I bring back, I'm not gonna let the dog get on my left. I'm gonna bring back like this. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Place the dog there until I touch it and I can release it. Touch is a release. Any questions about that? Oh my God, so much happened, all right? <laughs> Give me one second, oh my gosh. Man, I'm gonna rip this on my life. Cause that little dog, she's been doing great though, but you never know. Curious, huh? What's going on? What's that interesting smell? I know, we'll go back to the Good, good, good. So watch how I'm doing my little rotations. I'm not gonna give her any commands. Good? Oh, she knows. Good. Yeah, she knows, yeah. Well, she's watching. She's looking at your little boy first, yeah? She's looking at him. Good, good, good. Who is that? Yeah, she's been doing good. Yeah, for sure. All right, so now watch. This is why I'm telling you she's just really well conditioned, yeah? Because I mean, look, she, she's not even supposed to be doing this, but she's doing <laughs> it, yeah? I mean, like right now, she's not under any command. Yeah. But look, but she's gonna understand. She's really interested in him. I guarantee you she remembers because she wants to go towards him. Look, she's really interested. Hey. <laughs> what is it? So, I can talk to her, right? Huh? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. Yeah, uh -huh. And look, whatever, you, you can even keep talking to her while I do this, but watch, I'm going to make her this <laughs> right? So look, stop. Good. Good sit. So look, if I touch her, we start to walk. Good, you good? Okay, she's going to more or less stay on my side. When I come to the stop, she's going to sit down. Yes? So again, if I touch, good, you good? So watch for my nips. So look, I'm going to take my hand out so you can see what I'm doing. You yeah. see that little nip there? Because she's crowding me to the left. She wants. She's trying to make me go towards you. Good, you good? Good. So you see how she sat down, yeah? If she hadn't sat down, I would have applied pressure until she put her butt on the ground. But you see how I stepped away from her right now? And I'm just expecting her to stay put. Hopefully she'll stand up right now so I can show you what I'm going to do, yes? If she stands up, I'm going to slide this hand out to apply pressure and make her sit back down, okay? So, look. Good. Is she there? She just got confused and she thought she was supposed to walk with me. But you see how I handled it? And look, and if I drop the leash, she didn't look down at it. The leash made a sound though, which is unfortunate. Good, good, good. Good stay. Good stay. Oh but again, gosh. if I don't touch her, I don't want her to move. Hopefully she moves right now because she just heard you say, oh my yeah. God. She wants to go to him so badly. <laughs> Dude, she's watching him, yeah? So look, I'm gonna walk all the way around her. I'm gonna pause for three seconds, right? One, two, three, and then look. Oh my goodness. 
But you see how I did that? Yeah. I'm grabbing the leash so that I'm not making it super obvious and I'm petting like this so that this down here, oh, see how she looks down? She's not aware of. Yeah. And look, see, she hasn't done that. She wants to go to you. Cause see that paw? She hasn't done that to me in a while, yeah. right? So what, well, look. <laughs> so okay, watch, we'll touch and we'll start walking. Good, 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 good. And look, so she knows she's supposed to be here by that. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good. I'm trying to get her to mess up so I can nip and you can see. So watch my hand, look, there's a nip. Yep. There's another nip. So you see how I don't stop walking during my nips? When I slow down, hopefully she won't stop. Oh, no, she did. Good. Hopefully she doesn't sit right now so I can show you what I'm going to do. Man, okay. So if she doesn't sit, I would apply pressure. I got to show you that difference, yes? I mean, she's doing really good. She's not giving me the opportunity to nip. Yeah. And I was hoping that she would with him. That's why I didn't want him to come to yesterday. So, so let me show you this. Let me show you the, 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 yeah, when I come towards you, maybe look at her and say hi, and maybe she won't say it after me. Hi. So look. Hi. Yeah. Oh, hey, she still did it. Yeah. Uh, amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, unbelievable. Yeah. I felt her go in, but she was, man, she didn't help her. She was going to be happy. Right? <laughs> but, but even though you see how she didn't stand up, but I'm gonna, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it very fast. So look, I'm going to stop. I'm going to walk. So look. Okay. See, this is the thing is, I can tell she's thinking about doing it. So when she stops, she's big, so she's, it's unfair for me to force yeah, it because she's doing it, yeah? She's just not fast. That's fast, but look. Good. See, she's doing it. Oh, that would have been a good time. So look. Let's say I come to a stop. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? I did it exaggerated so you can see it. And technically, she was going into the sit there. Yeah. But I'm going to nitpick right now, yeah? Because you're in San Antonio. <laughs> right, so watch. Nitpicking. This is the nitpicking you have to do. Look. Look. Good. Hopefully she gets up. Oh my god. That's unbelievable. Oh, look. So watch. Look. Look right here. She knows better. See, she's like, should I do that? So look. Good. That's how I'm going to handle that. Just like that. I'm not angry. I'm not saying the word no. That's a little stress on. Looks like Jane, are you serious about this? She <laughs> says, that's, like, that's stress you on. Stress for her. Man, look how thick she is. Yeah. So I can't tell her anything apart. She looks like a boy. <laughs> so, it's a comedy, by the way. <laughs> you know, like, I know it's not normally with women, but with a puppy, they always want. You got yeah. any, any females that look like males. So look. Good, you're good. Good stay. Good. When I come back to her, I'm always going to reset. One, two, three. If I don't touch her, I don't want her to move. Good. Ooh. Unbelievable, baby doll. Pause for three seconds. One, two, three. See, that way I can do things like. Oh, she has gas. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Handsome, pretty girl. I know. Good. So very soft. Again, watch for. I'm handling her. And she growls a lot though. That's a puppy thing. You see? Good baby. Now, I gotta call Oscar because I'm gonna let him run around. And you're gonna watch me work her while he runs around. Okay. Okay? So I can just gauge, yes? Okay. <laughs> Set him down, please. Oh, gosh. Man, he's adorable. They're almost like the same odd color. So look, I'm just gonna make her understand that the same rules apply. So look. So watch how I'm handling her, okay? Mm -hmm. So look. So I'm biting. So this was the best opportunity. So look what I'm biting. So look, good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. See what I'm rewarding? A lot of times it's, the, it's those initial moments that people lose it, okay? Because you know why right there they give up and they start yelling at the dog, but you see how I'm not yelling or anything? Yeah. 
I just stayed calm and just started applying pressure. This is what a mama dog does. Okay? So again, good, 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 good. Now this is gonna be the best session for her because we'll allow us to, she's gonna need correction, so watch. Good, good. I'm gonna start bringing him around, good, good, good. Good, you see that correction? Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm doing them exaggerated so they show up on the video and you can see them, but look. So it's very exaggerated, my movement, so you can see my timing. Good, Papa. Good. Want, want me to pay attention to her. Yeah, me too. She's paying enough attention to, to him, but he's more interested in being all over the place right now. Mm -hmm. This is normal. It's like, how do you react Dude, when they're fun. both together? Kind yeah, man. Well, see, this is the thing is I put her with other dogs, other, like I do with the yeah. little dogs running around, and she does great. But she knows him. She wants to get to him. If I had to guess, sometimes she might be a little jealous of him because the way she reacts right there, she hasn't been right there with any dog. No, ma'am. No. But look, she's doing great, huh? Dude, it's just this little dog. He's not cooperating. <laughs> he's, he's like, you're crazy today. This is why I was talking about us coming out to you because if we were, like, if you were local, we're at your house. He wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. See, right now he's, and this is why I tell a lot of people, let me come out to you instead of you dropping your dog off because, dude, your dog, you come here, whatever he wants to do is sniff. Yeah. And he's, oh, this is good. So look, good, 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 good. Man, she's doing great though. But you see how she's tempering herself? Mm -hmm. Look, she's a puppy. She's not very old. Okay, good, good, good. So watch. Oh, yeah, he just wants to stay close to me. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, hey, I don't know about this. Well, there's a lot of dogs in here, man. Right? Little big old dogs over there. So now he just wants to stay close. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome. So look, watch. Look, look at my bite. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna, look, look at my bite. Look, bite him. Let him go with bite. Look, bite him. Let him go with bite. Bite him. Let him go with the bite. So see if she tempers herself. He's handsome. Hey, handsome. Good. Bite him. I'm gonna have you work her, and then we're gonna potentially go into uh, making sure that they get along. Okay? You ready to try it out? Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. Let's put him in that crate for now, please. Yeah. Just so we don't have any fights. Then you're good. Now take the leash, please. Step into her with your left. But you notice how when you, and by the way, I know that you did, man, I'm proud of you. You were petting her, and you notice when you started touching her, scratching her, she started sitting. Yeah. She sat down, and as soon as she put her paw up, you stopped touching her? Yeah. That's perfect. Ooh, she's beautiful. She's looking good. Okay. Yeah, she's thick, man. A lot bigger, huh? Yeah. How, how big is she compared to Junior, really quickly? He's a little Junior's bigger, huh? bigger. Yeah. yeah. She's big, though. Yeah, she's male. All right, so but see how she's acting really nicely with you there? And then you a little bit, we're going to let him out, man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Touch her, please, and start to walk. Listen for my nips and stuff. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Good job. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very good. Start to come to the center of the room. Start to slow down. Just come to a stop and let's see what happens, please. Unbelievable. So, if it was a little slow, but she's doing it, okay? As she gets older, you can start nitpicking how quickly she goes into it. But I'm letting you know when you stop, she's doing it. She's moving slow, yes? So, look, right now, don't pet her. Don't touch her. Um, so we're going to start enforcing the space. So what I want you to do right now is put the entire leash in your left hand the way you have it now, and I just want you to kind of keep your leash like this and walk around her counterclockwise towards me. If she stands up, you're going to apply pressure. Apply pressure. Perfect, Mom. Keep walking around her. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, my God, you look great. Stand right next to her, please. All right. So you're ready for the next step. Yeah, so let me tell you something. We're going to compliment you things. You did great. But let me tell you something. You have a smart dog. You have a problem-solving dog. Don't let her manipulate you. You will become predictable. Let me tell you why. If you're walking around her and you have the leash in your hands and she stands up, when you apply pressure, try to keep walking. Okay. Because, yeah, because what do you think I'm about to say? She can abuse her chair you. Yeah. Whenever she wants you to stop, she's going to get up. And then you stop. Yeah. So she wants you to stop, she'll get up. If she, again, don't let her know. If anything that a dog realizes can make you do something, you become predictable. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's tricky, right, to do that. But you can do it. I, I saw you, you almost didn't stop. I almost feel like you stopped because you thought, well, I better stop. You know what I mean? Let's stop. This is one move. 
Just like that, very, very calm. Yeah, so now that you have her there on your side, that's perfect. Go ahead and touch her, please, and you're gonna start to walk with her. Don't do nothing. Good job. We're looking for you to give her at least one little nip so that we can bring your boy out. Because I think he's gonna crowd you. I think he's gonna be all your business. Yeah, I think he's, yeah. Yeah, he is. You want more? Okay, very good. Come back around over here, face me, please. Slow down, bring the leash around her neck, and we'll stop. So come back, oh, okay, she did. So there, she's not being disobedient, but you don't have enough time to apply pressure, okay? No, I want you to walk away from the please. Keep the leash in your hands for now. Good, very good. Now start to walk, and now not let the leash go. Okay, no, no, go back. Let, okay, let the leash go. Oh no, okay. Let it go? Yes, ma'am, not when she's paying attention to you, that's good. So you don't want to drop her when she's looking down. You did it, by the way, okay? Now walk away from her, please. Now if she stands up, you're going to make the sound like a librarian telling the kids the house. Okay? Good job, man. Now, when you're at home with her, it's wholly appropriate and necessary to, like, say, just stay, you know what I mean? I know right now it's tough because you're listening for my cues, <laughs> but when you're home, you're going to want to be like, just stay, what a pretty girl. Walk back towards her, please. Walk back towards her. Very good. Stand right next to her. Now, this, remember, stop there. Oh. Pause for three seconds. If you start reaching for that leash, you start looking like you're falling off the cliff, okay? No panicking, yeah? So very calmly. Now, pet and grab her, grab her leash by the clasp. Pet and grab her leash. Oh, look how far down you went. Good job. Pretty good. But I want you to grab the leash by the clasp. Oh, so, right here. Yes, ma'am. So, okay. so when you go like this, you just grab her here, and then when you stand up, it just naturally flies. Okay. But you see how even after you touch her, she sat down immediately? She's really good. Unfortunately, she's doing too good for you, and you haven't given her a correction yet. We're about to cut it loose. So, uh, man, let's just make it happen. Don't say anything to her. Other than good, you're not going to say anything. Sit, 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 good job. She's right there. No, no, don't keep applying pressure. Sit, 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 keep walking. Good job, mom. Good job, mom. Sit, keep walking. She knows when you got to put your skills to the test. There you go. Sit, keep walking. So during this step, don't stop walking, please, okay? Bring your arm down. Sit, sit right there. You know, listen, I need you to pull a little steak on that. Pat it. All right? You better, you better, she's doing good. Look at that, man. She's really close. Good. All right, come toward me, please. Bring her to the center of the room. You got two little dogs. Look at that. It's like he's training, too. It's adorable. Bring her to the center of the room. Turn your right. Turn your right, please. Turn your right. There you go. Bring her around. Perfect. You're doing good. Listen, she's doing great. You're doing great. Slow down, please. And then we'll stop. Stop right there. Come on, pressure. Take that off. Walk away from her. Keep the leash in your hands. If she gets up, you're going to apply pressure. She has to stay in her spot, okay? Stop walking, Mom. Stick your leash out. Calm down. There you go. Stick your leash out all the way. See, right now you're a little nervous for a dog, huh? So see, now you're doing that whole, right? When I say extend your leash out, you went from going like this, and you're like, you're giving a centimeter at a time. Yeah, you gotta just come on, right? You're doing great. So let me give you an example. So this is right now. Anything I don't know. She's not in harm. I got control over her. She understands, yes? So keep the leash in your hands, please. Now walk around her, so don't follow you around. And if she gets up, you're going to apply pressure. Very simple. You're doing great. All of these, man, what a cute little dog. Perfect, mom. There you go, mom. There you go, mom. You're doing perfect. Good, you're good. And again, at home, you'll be rewarding the inaction. Right? Good stay. Step into her now, mom. Good, step into her. Perfect. Face me. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Stay. So now I need you to walk around and I want you to try to purposely walk her into him so you can give her. We have to make her mess up. She's doing, she's doing way better than she should be doing. Yeah, because she for sure is a little jealous of that little girl. I can tell. She doesn't watch the dog like that. Yeah. Hey, Oscar, take her out to the back.
Tell her to stay. Drop the leash. Walk away from her. Stay. Good stay. Good, good, good. Bike, good. Good, good, good. Man, she did great. She did great. That was a good distraction, bike. Perfect. Good, good, good.